Hello everyone, I am Raman Pahuja and today I am gonna tell you about root cause analysis. So in this video, I will tell you about what is root cause analysis, why this required, the steps of root cause analysis, tools and methods of root cause analysis and root cause analysis by only one sheet or one format. So let's start with the what is root cause analysis. So it's, it is the tool of lean manufacturing system. So what is root cause? Actually the root cause is the real cause behind any problem. It is not the surface cause, the real cause behind the problem. For example, you can see in the picture, the problem is the pain. Okay, the problem is pain, but everybody will think the root cause is the broken piece of a bottle, but not exactly. It is the only the surface cause of that problem, but the root cause will be the different like why this bottle was broken and why this broken piece was here so like this we need to analyze we should not attack on the surface cause because if we will attack on the surface cause then we cannot solve the problem so the root root cause analysis is the cause mapping method like there is two methods first is conventional approach the second one is cause mapping so we should not do the conventional approach conventional approach means just we are thinking the right answer we are thinking like according to my experience this is the reason according to my experience that should be the reason so we should not do this we should do the proper cause mapping of the problem cause mapping means we should find the cause and effect relationship like it if it will be the cause then what will be the effect of this so like this we need to find out the root cause of any problem so why this root cause analysis is required the root cause analysis is required is to analyze the problem to find out the real cause behind the problem to solve the problem and implement the preventive action so let me tell you about the correction corrective action and preventive action because i think many people are confused in that corrective action and preventive action so I will tell you by with the example for example the fire happen at a place so what will be the what will be our immediate action the immediate action will be the to stop the fire okay so this will be the correction correction is the immediate action what we will do the corrective action will be the after that what we will do like the we will find the fire will happen the fire was happen due to some leakage of a flammable material so what we should do we will just stop that leakage so that will be the corrective action but what will be the preventive action like it should not be happen in the future so we will do some preventive action for that so this is the major difference between correction corrective action and preventive action so now come on the steps of root cause analysis it is the basic steps it is the basic method for the root cause analysis like firstly we will select the problem select the problem means obviously we, we know like in the plant there is a lot of problems happen daily on daily basis so firstly we need to select the problem according to our priority or according to risk okay so we will select the problem and after that we will analyze the problem we will select the probable causes probable causes like according to cause mapping according to cause mapping like for example we will have two or three causes of that problem so after select the probable cause we will implement the corrective action according to that and after corrective action again we will analyze the effectiveness if it will effect then we will control and implement as a preventive action but if it's not effective then again we will go to the probable cause so again we will select an another probable cause and then again the corrective action and analyze the effectiveness so this is the basic method of root cause analysis <coughs> so now tool or method of root cause analysis majorly there is three tools or three methods of root cause analysis the first one is change analysis second is phi by analysis which we call the five y analysis and the third one is cause and effect or fishbone diagram so let's start from the first one change analysis change analysis means we will analyze the change like what change was happen where was happen 
when from when the change was happened and why who did this and how the change happened so if we will do this analysis then for sure we will get a probable cause of any problem 5w and 1h okay so we will do the change analysis like before problem and if when problem happened during that period what was the change okay so according to this we can easily find out the root cause the second method is y y analysis in this mainly we use the 5y like 5y analysis okay so in this just if we have any problem we will do the why the why this problem happen we will get the one cause then why this do then again we will find any second cause then we need to do at least five times why so after doing this definitely we will get the root cause of that problem and the third tool is cause and effect or fishbone diagram <clears throat> so in this we will do the analysis according to 5m okay 5m and 1e like man machine material method management and environment okay so in fishbone diagram like if for any problem we will find out the probable causes related to man machine material method management and environment okay. so it is the format of the root cause analysis i am sure if you will use this format you will definitely solve the problem you will definitely find out the root cause and corrective action and preventive action so i will explain this okay so in this format firstly we have to fill the details like what part number process or area and the problem description and the team members who will take care of that then immediate action like firstly after having the problem we will do the correction like immediate action okay so after correction we need to do the root cause analysis so to do the root cause analysis firstly we will do the fishbone diagram cause and effect cause and effect diagram or fishbone diagram we can find out the probable causes related to man machine material method and environment and then after find out the probable causes we will do the y y analysis and in this we will also do the change analysis like if this change happen then why why this change happen why this change happen so we will do like this okay so according to this we will find out the one root cause of that problem and then we will do the implement a corrective action of that the corrective action according to pdca plan do check and act so in this also we need to fill the like what action we need to do from when who will do why we need to do where and how like 5w and 1h then we will do the validation of that also then result describe the result of that and if the corrective action will be okay then the preventive action okay so we will do the preventive action same as that of corrective action so if anybody required this format so you can ask me by whatsapp or by email id i will give you that and if you will have any query then you can ask by whatsapp or mail id and please for subscribe that channel and like and share this video as much as possible thanks a lot